Hello from Gama. I am Lakshman Maheshwari and today we are going to talk about the Reserve Bank of India. The Reserve Bank of India was established on April 1st, 1935 under Reserve Bank of India Act of 1934. Its central office was initially established in Calcutta but was permanently moved to Mumbai in 1937. This is where the governor sits and where the policies are formulated. The Reserve Bank of India was originally privately owned. It was nationalized in 1949 and currently it is fully owned by the Government of India. Let us have a look at the preamble of the Reserve Bank of India. It describes the basic functions of the Reserve Bank. It says to regulate the issue of banknotes and keeping of reserves with a view to securing monetary stability in India and generally to operate the currency and credit systems of the country to its advantage, to have a modern monetary policy framework, to meet the challenges of an increasingly complex economy, to maintain price stability while keeping in mind the objectives of growth. The RBI is governed by a central board of directors. They are appointed by the government of India for a period of four years. There is a governor and not more than four deputy governors who are the full-time official directors. Further, there are a few non-official directors, of which 12 are nominated by the government and four directors are from the local boards at Mumbai, Calcutta, Chennai and New Delhi. As of September 2017, the full-time directors are Dr. Urjit R. Patel, the Governor, N.S. Vishwanathan, Deputy Governor, B.P. Kanango, Deputy Governor, Dr. Viral V. Achare, Deputy Governor. RBI has 20 regional offices, 11 sub-offices, 5 training establishments and 3 fully owned subsidiaries which are Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation of India, Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited and National Housing Bank. Now let us have a look at the main functions of RBI. The first and the foremost function is financial supervision. This is done under the guidance of the Board of Financial Supervision. The board was constituted in November 1994 as a committee of the Central Board of Directors of the Reserve Bank of India. It undertakes consolidated supervision of the financial sector comprising commercial banks, financial institutions and non-banking financial companies. RBI plays the role of monetary authority. It formulates, implements and monitors the monetary policy. The objectives are maintaining price stability while keeping in mind the objective of growth. RBI also acts as a regulator and supervisor. It prescribes broad parameter of banking operations within which the country's banking and financial system functions. The objectives are to maintain public confidence in the system, protect depositors' interest and provide cost-effective banking services to the public. RBI is also the manager of foreign exchange. It manages the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. The objectives are to facilitate external trade and payment and promote orderly development and maintenance of foreign exchange market in India. Another crucial role of RBI is that of the issuer of currency. It issues and exchanges or destroys currency and coins not fit for circulation. Objectives are to give the public adequate quantity of supplies of currency notes and coins and in good quality. RBI also plays a developmental role. It performs a wide range of promotional functions to support national objectives. It undertakes projects and initiatives to this end. RBI also performs banking functions. It is the banker to the government. It performs merchant banking function for the central and state governments. In short, it acts as their bankers. RBI is also banker to the banks. It maintains banking accounts of all scheduled banks. RBI is also a source of information. It publishes a number of lectures, reports and statistical data 
pertaining to the economy and its various sectors. This video was brought to you by Gamma IES Classes. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share to keep receiving important information. Have a good day.